Craftsman Yard Vacuum. The box, the screen, the fiberglass in the top, and building a trailer that this will mount on to be pulled by an ATV. The frame for the ATV, I started on it yesterday. Theoretically, the box was supposed to fit right in here. We're going to try to get these all the way across. These are the channels that I'm going to cut down now. Now, see how that's going to fit, huh? We are now prepared to fabricate and install the undercarriage and the wheels. This is what's left of the Bio 250. Notice the front wheels are missing. I'm going to show you where they are now. This is the front hub of the bio. So what I'm doing is I'm going to make a mount here. And then use this to attach to the trailer. I need to reinforce these axles, I'm sure, to pack the bearings. Next thing though, and center that boy up and straighten it. We are at the point now where I need to add a towel coming along. Got the tongue on there, <clears throat> and we didn't lose any ground clearance. I need to work on a trailer hitch yet, but there it is right there. It is July 18, and I finally put the box on my trailer frame this morning. I didn't secure it yet. Just put it on there to see how it fit. And it looks like somebody did a good job. Man, it's well I did a little work on the trailer. It is the 22nd of July.
There's Robbie the Sparrow. Or the Finch. Busting the trailer. brief walk about to review some of the modifications I made on my Suzuki King Quad 300 to prepare it for extended desert excursions. As you can see, added a spare auxiliary, five gallon tank of gas, complete with siphons and pump. Also, I removed the headlights so I can install my winch and my winch controller. Replace the headlights with LED lights and they put out a pretty good heat. I also have an isolated uh, battery system. battery here and on the other side it's another setup with the battery outlet 12 volt outlet on the battery and, and a horn this is the switch to go from isolated to charging There's also, the same system, a 12 volt outlet in the back. And that'll probably be, we'll run a line to the trailer so we can have lights and uh, computers and everything in the trailer to record our daily progress. This, I'm still finishing the cooler on the back have it solid mounted I have to insulate the top though I think that's a good idea basically we've got all the gears in the world that we need we're not gonna go jumping no sand dunes or anything like that but basically that's it the project and today is the 22nd of July our next project is to build a trailer for the generator and other supplies that we can tow behind an ATV on our desert exploration. final decision on the trailer hitch the coupling I want it to be totally rotational made from spare parts <laughs>